Albert Bandura maintained that people are smarter than behaviorists think. We primarily learn by watching others. We learn vicariously. This certainly fits with your own personal experience. Most people can remember learning how to do something by watching their parents, siblings, or friends do it. We watch people we know to learn how to fit in, what to do in a crisis, how to behave in public, and how to treat those we love. We watch famous people and learn how to wear our clothes, have elaborate weddings, or adopt children from other countries. Demonstration learning is also a popular pastime on television. How to cook, how to buy a house, how to play golf, how to behave when you've made a winning goal. The process of observational learning is pretty straightforward. We watch what someone does, we make a mental note, a representation of how they did it, and then we use our mental model as a guide of how we should behave. Bandura suggests four stages of the modeling process. Attention, tracking the environment. Retention, converting observations into a cognitive rule. Reproduction, being able to apply the rule correctly. And motivation, having a reason to do the behavior. Most people are very efficient at converting their observations into cognitive rules. Parents are often surprised when their children put a rule into action. Sorry when you bash your finger with a hammer. Kicking the cat when you're angry. Yelling at cars you cut off, licking your fingers while eating, and shopping when you're depressed. Reproduction, however, is not quite as simple. I've watched many Olympic and professional athletes. I've seen basketball players who can jump backwards and throw the ball at the same time. I've seen marathon runners, speed skaters, and pole vaulters perform. But I can't reproduce those behaviors. I get the idea of how to play golf, use a stick to hit a ball into the hole, but I can't do it well. Reproductions of ideas into practice is the most difficult stage of modeling. The last stage, motivation, is where Bandura is most at odds with Skinner. According to operant conditioning, reinforcement is necessary for learning to occur. But Bandura says you can learn without reinforcement. You just won't have a reason to show it. From his point of view, rewards impact performance, not learning. You watch and learn, even if you don't do the behavior. Reinforcement only impacts the likelihood of applying what you know.